Here comes a quick follow-up on the 2x4 Yankee Candle. There it is in all of its man candle glory. So I did melt this one all the way down. It had one wick. I placed two wicks and I clamped them in place as shown in the photo. When you place a wick in a melted candle, it's all liquid, so the wicks want to float around a little bit. So I clamped them in place so they stay. When I cooled the jar down, this jar, for some unknown reason, really cools down very slowly. It retains the heat, which was probably by design. But what happened was the sides cooled a lot faster than the middle. So the middle was cratered. Hopefully you're seeing a picture right now. It was cratered in the middle because while the sides were solid, the middle was still liquid and it cooled a lot slower. So what I did was lit the candles, got a full burn along the top layer, left it there, blew out the candles. As it started to solidify and it started to crater again, I lit the candles again, let it burn evenly, blew out the candles once again. And the wicks once again, kept doing that every hour for about four or five hours and almost all the cratering was eliminated. You can see I, I uh, burned it yesterday just for about an hour or two, and you can see nice and level, nice even burn. You can see there's a layer at the top that's colored differently. That's because this was all liquid here. And then it's resettled, perfectly level, awesome candle right here, two by four. Definitely use an Aluma lid on these jar candles. I'll give you the link to the Aluma lid. Definitely recommend they do not burn evenly without it. 